Now, if you like cooking and you're in Russia, let me give you a little piece of advice. Make sure you swat up on international politics before you choose your recipe, because that could affect the ingredients which are available to you. You see, whenever Russia has a political row with another country, it often ends with Moscow slapping a ban on food imports from the country she's fallen out with. For example, when the Russian government squabbled with the Georgian government a few years ago, Russia suddenly declared that Georgian wine and Georgian mineral water were of poor quality and refused to import any more, and that resulted in big losses for the Georgian economy. Then Russia got cheesed off with Ukraine. There was a row over gas prices, over trade links, and hey presto, what a coincidence, Ukrainian cheese was declared rather dodgy and banned. And the latest food feud is over dairy products from Lithuania. This week, Moscow suspended imports, again citing concerns over quality. But the Lithuanians, they smell geopolitics here. After all, next month, Lithuania hosts an EU summit aimed at forging closer ties with countries traditionally in Russia's sphere of influence, like Ukraine and Georgia. Now, that's a recipe to make Moscow mad. Uh, by the way, this is the man with the bans, Gennady Anishinko, Russia's chief sanitary inspector. He's the official who always seems to announce the suspensions. And he claims that they have nothing at all to do with politics, that it's simply about protecting the health of Russian citizens. Now, I should say that these suspensions are normally temporary. Georgian wine and Ukrainian cheese are now back on the shelves here. Personally, I really hope that Russia doesn't fall out with everybody, because if that happens, dinner could be a bit of a problem.